everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to do Batman Kings of Fear, issue number four by DC Comics. Yes, and we're going to continue with this great series. Um, oops, a little bit too soon. It's made by Scott Peterson, Kelly Jones, of course, and Batman is here getting therapy by the Scarecrow. And um, so the Scarecrow says, tell me about your childhood. And here we go. So we go back when he fell into the cave as a young boy. And, you know, when he lost his parents. And, you know, we leave it at that for now. And then Scarecrow says, um, tell me, do you remember the first time we met? So there's a, how do you say, a memory that's, of course, not true. So Batman says, no, because that's not how it happened. And, um, well, they go back and forth a little bit. And, and Batman says, hey, you... The fear guys is different this time. So, yeah, he tinkered a little bit with, with the inmates of, you know, Arkham. And uh, so it seems that Batman somehow still knows what's going on, but he cannot help themselves. He's still under the influences. Uh, meanwhile, Gordon is, um, you know, trying to make an arrest here with this uh, with these goons. Uh, these are uh, Scarecrow goons. And, um, yeah, he wants to answer. He wants to know where Scarecrow is. And then, you know, the bat signal is, is lighting up. And then uh, this guy says, um, hey, uh, I, uh, I'm not going to tell you nothing. And then Jim Gordon is a little bit fed up. He says, um, I don't feel you understand the situation. You're already in a bad position. And that was before the light came on. So he wants to know where they are, where, you know, Scarecrow is. And um, he said it doesn't have to do, be this way. Um, and I really don't want to shoot you, but I will, and I don't miss. And I particularly like this one, you know, when the bat signal goes into the air, and then from the clouds comes the image, which, of course, imaginary, the Batman, and then it, you know, resembles the, the bat logo on his chest. It's really cool done. And um, But then we see all these people, oh, God, no, please, let, let me just get home tonight, and I promise I'll go straight out of my way. You really that scared? No, I, I think I left the stove on. So there's a shooting here. So, yeah, people are really scared, by the way. So uh, there's a shooting here, and, and, and Jim Gordon, you know, puts this guy down, and then the other one uh, is left. So he says, hey, as I was saying, it doesn't have to be this way. And then these kids here say, uh, hey, did you lock the door? <laughs> and Jim goes nuts here. And I love the expression and this, this lighting effect here. He says, so tell me where he is. Where is the scarecrow? But that... Uh, this guy changes his tune a little bit. He says, hey, I'm, 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 I'm not going to say. I mean, um, because if he's going to rat out Scarecrow, there is a great chance he would not survive the next couple of days. So um, so he offers to, you know, surrender himself. And then, you know, I, I'd rather take the chance to, to be in jail. But then Jim says, hey, let's get you to Arkham. And this guy says, to, what, Arkham? No, 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 that's, that's not, no, 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 that's not where I wanted to go because, of course, Scarecrow is going to be there. Um, so he spills a little bit of the beans, and although he does not know much, but he knows something, right? So going back to the Scarecrow, and he says, uh, hey, how do you see yourself? And uh, so Batman imagines himself as, as Bat Superman, Super Batman. <laughs> It looks so funny. Uh, so he's getting shot out. It's all imaginary. It's all in his head. But instead of being invulnerable, he still is vulnerable somehow. And um, Scarecrow says, interesting. And there is the Batman we know. Oh, by the way, these are the, the outsiders. Uh, remember when um, Black Lightning has actually a cool costume and signal? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this is not the outsides. Anyway, let's move on. Um, <laughs> so the scarecrow asks, "Why are you doing this to yourself? Why do you keep trying? To, who do you keep trying to save?" This kind of desperation—that's not wanting something. That's needing something. So, what do you see? What do you need? Who do you need to save? Batman says, "I don't know." Yes, you do. <laughs> So he, he um, come on, who do you need to save? And Batman says, a child. Yes, yes, excellent. What child? Your child? No, every child. 
I need to make sure no one else ever goes through what I went through. <laughs> All right. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Yes, I see. That does make sense. That explains so much. Because? Because what? Come on, you know this. This need of this, the need of yours explaining so much because, because, because I can't. I can't possibly save them all. No, that's true. He can't. But he keeps going, right? And um, Scarecrow is ecstatic, you know, because according to him, this is a breakthrough or something. And he says, yes, that's right. That's exactly right. Your entire life has been dedicated to one goal. Your goal of a goal you know, you always know. It's impossible to achieve, even for you. At least, the way you've gone about it. And then Batman asks, what do you mean? We'll get back to that. And he says, but we'll get back to that. So, okay, interesting. So now he wants to know about his love lives, about, you know, the, the people that he loves or, you know, his deepest passionate love affair. And then um, we see Catwoman and I believe Talia Ghul. <laughs> and Talia <laughs> changes her face into the into the scarecrow. I love that. I really love this 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 whole um, psychoanalysis and then all these warping of reality that's probably only in his Batman's mind. Uh, that's great. So Scarecrow says, but still not quite the one, is it? Um, so he says. Uh, but what's the one you never could quit? The one you sacrificed absolutely everything for? The one who never left, who never leave you, could never, even if she wanted to, even if you wanted her to. So I thought to myself, what are you talking about? I mean, the love of his life were these two, as far as I remember, right? And then uh, it reveals that there is, there it is, Gotham City, you one true love, and yet... Yet you treat you ha yet you uh, you haven't treated her very well, have you? Of course, she hasn't treated you all that well herself. But you, you returned the favor, haven't you? You always hurt. We always hurt most the one we love most. That's actually true. By the way, fuck Bendis. John, despicable character. Um, now that he's grown up. Uh, anyway, um, so. Batman, he says, what, what do you mean? Uh, he says, I don't know, to, I have no idea what you're talking about. And he says, come on, come on, you can do it. He says, no, no, come on. I, I. And then he says, what, what is that? You know what it is. No, yes, no, yes, indeed. It can be, and yet it is. That's Gotham. And then the last thing we see, that's Gotham without the Batman. <laughs> this is great. This is great stuff. So this is somehow, I don't know, more uh, Gotham with clean air and modern buildings and people live without fear, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is great. The art is fantastic. All these facial expressions and these, these imagery. Yeah, great stuff. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, we're going to move into... Um, Issue five pretty soon, six issues. Uh, guys, let me know what you think about this comic. This is fun, this is pure fun. And the art is fantastic, and the writing is yeah, also great, in my opinion. Uh, I'll see you next time. And you know, if you like my content, you know, like what you see, I'm doing daily re reviews and you know, videos. Uh, maybe you, you want to subscribe to my channel, you know, leave a comment and all that stuff. Yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.